Hey guys, Joel again. These are my thoughts on the Xbox Series X. Now, starting off, it still plays 4K Blu-ray, but not yet 8K, even though it, it can do 8K, um, but it can also now do 4K at 120fps, but not 8K at 120fps, because that, because that would be insane. Now, moving on to the design. Um, I think it's an interesting design. I don't know if I like it or I dislike it. It's sort of, it's less of a rectangle, more of a sort of cuboid sort of thing. It's sort of, it's tall, but it's wide and it's it's different. I mean, the PS5, they did showcase it standing up, but this Xbox C Series X is actually stood up and lay down. It is completely different. Uh, whereas the PS5 lay down, it looks about the same. Now, I'm... Um, the placing of the Xbox Series X, I don't know, because, I mean, it is quite a bit taller than the your average console, so if you already got sort of gaming set up and everything, and you think you can just replace your Xbox One X with a Series X, you can't actually do that too well. You might have to have it off to the side or something, stood up, or you might have enough room, if you move something else, to have it lay down flat on its side. Now, the, moving on to the controller, the controller is slightly different, uh, it now has a share button, it's been like, it's been minimalised slightly, and um, it also now has improved response times, so say you're shooting a gun and you pull the trigger, it will know that you've pulled the trigger quicker, and this is in the actual controller, so it's the time between what you actually pulling the trigger and the controller knowing you pulled the trigger, not, not the response time of the controller to the actual console. Now we might get some new accessories at some point, including VR, but it will not release with it. But the current accessories for the Xbox One X, such as the Kinect and everything, those will be backwards compatible and those will still work on the Xbox Series X. All old Xbox games will be also backwards compatible, which I think is also very nice. PlayStation haven't really said that officially, I don't think, but I'm sure they will be. Moving on to the SSD, it's now also much faster. Uh, hopefully, I hopefully they do actually add bigger storage sizes, like I want them to on the PS5. One upside of this SSD is that you can actually now basically just hop between games. So you can just be playing one game, then you can go off it and go start playing another game, and you can go back to it, and it doesn't have to load up the entire game again. You can just literally carry on from where you left off, which I think is also very nice. We don't actually know if it will have a new UI yet, but we're thinking it quite possibly will do. Um, to be honest, the actual UI on the Xbox One X is okay. They keep changing it and they keep doing different things, which I don't really mind. Although I think PS4 will have a more simplistic design than the actual One X, but um, PS4 is changing it and we don't know if Xbox is changing it, but I'm guessing they probably will do, which would be interesting to see. Now, everyone likes the black sort of design, but I mean, I wouldn't actually mind a white Xbox Series X. I mean, they do have a white Xbox One S instead of the X, but the S is slightly less capable than the X. Um, but I do actually quite like the white design on them. Moving on to the disk drive. Um, it does actually have a stock disk drive in it, but I don't know if it will release with a digital edition like the PS5, but there is talk that it will be a digital edition of some sort, or possibly them releasing a Series S along with it in possibly, possibly a few months later. Also, finally, you will also be able to use your old Xbox controllers with the new Series X and and the Series S if that becomes an actual thing. Uh, that's about it for the video. If you liked, please like, comment, subscribe, turn the bell on if you would like, and thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye.